Hello guys, today I have an old battery, uh, old laptop battery to take a look at. So what's happened, this battery, the laptop refuses to charge this battery anymore, I even put the label on it, so to indicate this is old or battery uh, that not gonna be charging anymore. So yeah, when you plug into the uh, this to the to the laptop, it stays at I don't know like 34%, and laptop refuses to charge it, and it always stays at 34%. So when you unplug the power cord from the laptop, it shuts down, shuts down immediately. So it doesn't even <clears throat> pull anything from the battery. So what I would like to do, uh, I would like to open this. Uh, open this uh, battery up and take a look what's inside to see if I can actually fix it up uh, maybe replace whatever um, elements uh, are there so let's talk about what's inside this battery highly likely there are a whole bunch of 18650s inside and that's a two cell battery because it's uh, indicates here 11.1 uh, volt um, so to um, uh, so it's essentially it consists of uh, number of batteries but two of them or at least two of them are uh, connected in such a way that 4.7 4.7 gives 11.1 volt um, so this is 97 watt hours and this is Dell battery uh, uh, it actually served me for about three three and a half years so it's actually worked well for a while but now it's completely uh, gonski so I either I just you know tear it down and pull out the good remaining elements out of it uh, or potentially I can actually replace some of the elements and have a battery so because knowing how hard to open this battery not to destroy the whole thing I will probably do it off camera and uh, not to make this video super long and then we when I open it we will continue Kitoki so where, where we are after poking around all over the place with different tools uh, so uh, what I've done I took the have this opening to uh, poking tools from my um, uh, set and I was uh, first of all I scraped with knife uh, like over here like on the perimeter everywhere just to try to loosen it over here then I took a uh, spudger and I was just spudging it all over perimeter over here try to kind of break it uh, loose and after like some efforts quite a bit of efforts I would say probably spent like two hours or something fiddling with it I finally was able to pry apart uh, those top and bottom cases uh, also I pulled out those labels out of here I thought there is some kind of screws or something underneath but obviously there is nothing so I could have just left them out there but no big deal so here we are uh, one thing important thing is to I want to know um, to note that first of all it's obviously all quite glued uh, looks like I have broke off some things it's uh, it's glued ser seriously glued and it's still probably not gonna give that easily and I don't want to broke it but as you see there is there is nine uh, nine eighty actually I was wrong it's 3c oh it's one two three and <coughs> three in three by three I know what I was talking about sorry yeah it's seven something volt is too okay it's still hard to pull it apart without breaking this case because whatever I still have a hope that I can revive this battery by replacing some of the elements maybe but it's like oh okay uh, so first of all it looks like batteries are, are glued to the to the case in both sides at least at least on this side it's some kind of I don't know it's a thermal compound or something so which make it harder to pull them apart maybe I can just pull it out can I no no I can't that would be nice to just pull it out of there without even opening the case 
Hmm. I'm not sure if it's still glued or something. It's probably still glued. No, it's not glued anymore. Just not cooperating. So this side is not cooperating. Okay, okay, it's a bit cooperating now. Try not to cut myself. It won't be fun. I don't want to break all this stuff off or um, completely break this case. I just try to pray it apart. And it's not going that easily. Yeah, because it's really, really. It, it, it's really glued very well. So hence, it's not. Like, this thing is almost there. Jeez, like, cave. Can I have it? I don't know what's holding. What's holding this thing? Yeah, it totally looks like it's just glued. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh. Looks like there is some... Board? Yeah, potentially. Hmm. Okay, guys, I'll stop recording. Right, so finally, after applying some force, and this is what I was afraid of. You see those breaking points so yes i had to like pull it more and obviously it broke so i'm not sure if i would be able to reuse it i hope i will so okay let's just oh, it's still okay oh here we are okay this is okay so that's what we have here so this is dell battery controller charging controller over here so it consists of i don't know what are those it's lg looks like lg db 18650 it's uh, yeah so oh, all right so a little little thermistor over here to take care to uh, measure the the temperature on elements just to make sure they're not overheating probably then we have uh, arrangement three by three so actually poking this metal thing here it's a bad idea let's take a plasticky pokey bit not sure how much energy is still left but probe can be a lot a lot inside <clears throat> So uh, I'm gonna also de measure the uh, voltage. Uh, curious to measure voltage on each of these banks. So we have a controller of some sort of Texas instrument. I don't know what's uh, it. I'm not sure what are those. It's one side load. Everything else. Uh, there is nothing on the other side. This is what is this kind of sh just schmoo? Yeah, this is just schmoo, nothing here for sure. Like it's, I don't know what the hell, is it like thermo something or this is just uh, okay, right? I'm curious, what are those? Some kind of cheapy jobby. Some of the some of the elements on PCB are 
has some sort of coating oh, actually everything so everything has coating on it uh, so it's not compliant coating because it's just in some places I guess they've done it to prevent when for example this will fall off or some sorry fall on the ground to prevent all these elements kind of breaking off I don't know but it's interesting to see that so essentially all like all passives microchips over here and those are MOSFETs or something uh, yeah is this national I don't know anyways uh, they are all covered in some kind of goop yeah it's some sort of goop so obviously it's not a flux it's just uh, just a goop of some sort I guess to prevent them from detaching very nice very nice very nice attention to details so by the way also there's a whole bunch of test points over here curious to see what are those like a lot of them around here yeah look t2 t9 t1 t11 v plus vh what is this v low v plus vh vl and v minus V H and V L. Curious what that's supposed to mean. Well, if we add it, let's just measure the voltage. Okay, so this is well, it says V minus, so it's we'll assume this is our negative rail of some sort. Gonna just connect. So 4.5 volts here. 8 volts over here 0.6 hmm <laughs> doesn't look good at all okay let's go with each each individual I wanna measure the voltage of uh, I don't know it's gonna be just a block okay let's see what's here 0 0.6 0 0.6 0.6 four and a half eight so well I assume that this bank is shot okay and because obviously all those elements are connected together I won't be able to measure individual battery because I would have to cut it essentially from the from the bank so so if this bank shows this such a crappy voltage I assume so one of these batteries are is dead curious which one because it seems like let's say I don't know if it's my right assumption okay let's unscrew this guy so voltage between this and that okay voltage weird Three point eight here, and voltage three point six. So they are, yeah, they'll be discharged. But voltage between this and this is really short. I'm not even sure if I would be able to recover it, but I can try. So now uh, we know that this bank is Gonski. At least we have two bank banks which are still more or less operational. Uh, so what can I do so in order to figure out what's actually busted on like what what's uh, fail on this side I have to actually detach those batteries but when I detach them it will be very hard to to put them back because I don't have welding machines actually to weld them okay so this is something I have to think about it so let's look at the electronic first so what do we have we don't have many elements uh, but we have several active elements over here So first of all this TI job which is B I don't know if it's Q it's BQ 347472 Then there is this jobby, I don't know what the hell is that supposed to mean because it's impossible to read out what it says then there is a transistor highly likely doesn't say Q3 transistor 
it has F1, I assume this is fuse, diode over here, and two, uh, looks like some kind of power. So what these guys say, let me read it. 7932, 7932, both of them are the same. Okay. Let me make note and I'll take a look. So, Dell battery, battery controller. Controller, okay, so we have TI, BQ304. Seven two. Then one chip I can like it has no, no text on it, and then seventy nine thirty two seventy nine thirty two. It's also H three four. 5p all right let me take a look what are those okay so I got some info but not on everything so first of all I cannot find anything on BQ 30472 from TI looks like it there is similar name chips and they are power management ICs uh, but like not nothing of this specific one so that's that's weird usually TI stuff is widely available so this dude I mean those two dudes are international rectifier power MOSFETs essentially so uh, yeah that no big deal like nothing super special but they are, clearly they are used a lot into uh, power management for laptop power process processor power circuits and things like that so yeah this is um, th that's pretty clear uh, so this dude is not uh, clearly it's uh, uh, charging power management IC but like what the hell exactly this is this is I don't know so uh, that's probably it for now I'm not going to uh, troubleshoot this at the moment because I just want to first of all turn it down poke around and to see uh, to actually troubleshoot it first so and I've, obviously we did quick troubleshooting we understand that one of those three elements over here are Gonski so I would probably try to detach each of them check the voltage to see if I uh, maybe I can try to recover and then somehow somehow I would have to figure out how put them back together or in, uh, replace one of those guys to something else um, I think that's it for now I'm gonna take a photos of this thing just to have uh, for people in case someone interested how it parts um, the laptop battery look like inside um, so at the end of story if I won't be able to actually make anything use useful of this laptop battery to use it back in laptop I just gonna pull remaining um, uh, cells out of here test them, refresh them, and if they are in good state, I can just use them for other projects and ditch the bro bad ones. So, here we are. This is how laptop battery looks uh, inside. This is sort of old school stuff because now more and more batteries are flatter and they are just inside of the laptop. So this is like 4-5 old tech, I would say. This is how it looks inside. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.